Hey friends and happy Sunday. Today we are going to be doing some thrifting and flea market hunting right here next to Walt Disney World. We're going to be visiting some of my favorite thrift stores, flea markets, souvenir shops, and even pawn shops maybe and just seeing what kind of amazing treasures we can find. We are probably about six minutes away from Walt Disney World and like I said I've done a lot of these videos in the past and you'd be shocked at the treasures that we can find. Anywho's Let's go do this. We're gonna start off the day right here at the Hope Thrift Store. This is about seven minutes from Walt Disney World. And I've done a video here where I showed you all the cool Disney resort like furniture and Disney props they had. And then we're gonna make our way to other flea markets and pawn shops and souvenir shops right in order. Some of these places have amazing items and some of them it's kind of hit or miss so we don't know what we're going to find. Some places I might walk into and we're not going to find anything at all but I kind of want to give you guys a look at it and I really think it's fun like I said thrifting and flea market right here so close to Walt Disney World because it's like I, and nothing I've ever seen before like I've never seen this stuff back in the thrift stores up in Pennsylvania I'll tell you that. It looks like I've come across a lot of cool items already. You can take a look up in this far corner here and they have the Walt Disney World Castle playset. That is so amazing. It has lights and a fireworks show, sounds and music, and it's only $25 here. It does look like it's in the box, like never used, but the plastic's popped out. And then on this side, we have the Disney Railroad train set. That is so interesting. This one I think is $19.99. Like I said, to come across these in a thrift store, I think that's so amazing. Oh, and then down here, how about a bucket of aliens from Toy Story? Look at that, 25 of them. Oh, and it comes with a crane too? This is only $14. That is so amazing. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Not only do I like to find cool things to buy in thrift stores and stuff like that, but I also like to find cool things that they're actually selling. Things that you're just like, wow, that is really nifty. They have these hand-painted plates from Frozen, and it says, Destiny Awaits Us, and these are only $14. They have a mechanical arm of some sort. I'm not even too sure how much that is, and I was touching it. But <laughs> down here, they have a whole bunch of books, like 2020 autograph books for Walt Disney World. Look at that. These are only $5.99. I don't know how much they were in the uh, stores, but it's really nifty to come across them here. And look at all these pictures down here. Some of these are resort pictures, like used inside the resorts. And I think that's interesting. I don't think that one was, though. Last time I showed you guys the cool Disney phones. And look, they have a whole bunch of them here. $30 a piece. And these are from All Star Music. And look, it's just like a resort phone. It has all of the functions, like Disney Vacation Club on there, front desk, a wake-up call. But I did test it. Even when you do plug it in, you can't uh, get a call from Mickey. So sad for that. But it's still really cool to own. Another really cool thing is the Deluminator from Harry Potter. How crazy is that? I don't even think, I didn't know something like that. I mean, obviously it's a toy, but it's awesome that that's in here and it's only $24.99. Look at that. They also have a nice selection of Disney pins or even pin trading here that you can actually come in and swap out. And that's really cool to find in here as well. I see a lot of retro Epcot ones back there. Oh, I like this monorail one. This is really nifty. And then also I showed these pins last time I was here. It's cool to come across very old ones. Like this is Mickey's birthday one from 2018. And I don't even know how much these are, like $2? You can also find resort furniture in here. I showed that off in a video I posted a while ago. And it's really cool because I think a lot of it is from the all-star resorts. But also you can just find miscellaneous furniture from all different hotels, resorts, and stuff like that. Even like safes. And I think that's interesting. But I don't want to dive into that too much because we have a lot of places that we are going to visit. And uh, it's going to be hard to get everything in one video. So I'll just give you a brief, like, quick run through. They have these entertainment centers that come with TVs and mini fridges, all from All Star Resorts for $105. And then over there, they have a lot of the furniture, including this sectional. Look at that. Is that like a sleeper sofa? Holy moly. But these are from All Stars, and they have hidden Mickeys in them, and they're about $140. It's not too bad, especially for something from a Disney resort. I think this is from Saratoga right here. It's $24.99. It looks really nice. 
these pictures right here I'm not too sure where they're from I think they might be from Saratoga Springs I don't know and then this one actually might be from the Polynesian because I can tell by the picture frame itself I have a lot of Polynesian pictures at the house and that one looks like it came out of the preschool sweet dreams reach for the stars I mean I don't know it's just really interesting the things that you can find here Ooh, not too hard what's that risk give every challenge your best shot well it's a golfing one Okay, now we're gonna move along and we're gonna visit a couple more spots. I, like I said, it's hit or miss. I didn't end up buying anything there. I was half tempted to get the train set though, because I think that's a really good deal. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna move along and make our way right down 192. The next place I wanna stop to is a gift shop, but it's not gonna be here at the Wizard gift shop. It's gonna be actually right next door. The Wizard gift shop is great for the $5.99 Disney t-shirts and the generic coffee mugs, but what I want is like the 90s McDonald's cups. I want cast member costumes. I want pins and like uniquely rare memorabilia, and that's gonna be right next to Ichiban at the character corner gift shops like the wizard or any of the other ones that have like big eye-catching facades are more for like take-home souvenirs to like your friends and family like you know what I mean like $1.99 Mickey and Minnie shirts and coffee mugs and little Florida like feet and stuff like that but if you want like collectibles and antiques and stuff like that you got to find the places that kind of aren't really on the beaten path this place doesn't have any big fancy signs. In fact, it just says gift shop luggage. Gift shop, not even gift shop and luggage, just gift shop luggage. And it's the character corner. And you can see it says Disney collectibles. They buy, sell, and trade. And they have amazing items in here. This place is so cool and they have so many different items here. One of a kind items, old like Disney souvenir items and just things that, I mean, it's, it's basically everything I love. Take a look at all the Disney phones, Mickey, Winnie the Pooh and Snoopy. That's very out of place, but it's still really awesome. And then look at the castles here. They have like a dark castle and it's basically like a dark Cinderella castle maybe. I don't know, I've never seen that before, but it's very interesting. This is a Disneyland cookie jar for the 40th anniversary. That is really, really, really cool. Uh, a nice little Mickey pumpkin, 101 Dalmatians. Look at this. That is right up my alley, $29.99. Wow, these are really, really cool. And then tons of other like small knickknacks and things from the park and even things that they give out to cast members, like a lot of cast member awards. I have not seen one of these in such a long time. This is so cool, nostalgia for me right here. Look at this. Oh wow, I'm gonna pull it and see if it still works. <laughs> I like this Fort Wilderness Campground belt buckle, only $10. Some Pirates of the Caribbean merchandise. And then over here, next to all the ears, do you guys remember these guys? I think these were in Burger King. Aren't these the little uh, puppets that they were at at Burger King? That is so awesome to see things like this. They have two of them. A lot of cool things in here that you can actually buy and they'll ship actually so I'll make sure to leave all the information once we get done here in case you see anything you want to actually get we've got some art of Disney things back here this is Beauty and the Beast a railroad spike from the Disneyland Railroad that is really really rare and awesome that's $1,500 for that because it's really kind of a piece of history a retirement club for Walt Disney World I've never seen one of those before it's $49.99 and then take a look at this Haunted Mansion clock back here. This is a record, but it's the Haunted Mansion. Look at that. That is so awesome. How much is this one? $49.99. $49.99 and then a little small Haunted Mansion figurine here too. So that really is cool. What is it? A trinket box. A trinket box. Yes, a trinket box. It opens up. Oh really? Yeah. This opens up. We have to check this out. That is so awesome. So it is a Stretch It Portrait or Setsky uh, trinket box. Now watch, look. It goes all the way up. And then you got the little tiny trinket box right in there. That is so cool. $60 for this because this is a real high-end item. I really, really like this a lot. Look at that. 
a nice collection of Disney license plates, Epcot, the uh, Disney Sports and Recreation, MGM Studios, and then some name tags even from former uh, Disney cast members. I always like to point these out. These are really cool because some of these are really, really like old. You got the 100 Years of Magic, the 25th Anniversary, and then you got good old Kent. Lots of vintage old dolls. This looks like Cinderella right here with Prince Charming. And then you got a nice, very nice Cinderella up here. That's a hundred dollars for that doll. Beauty and the Beast wedding set. Look at that. Down here we've got Aladdin. And then Quasimodo. That is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Quasimodo like that. And then tons of other ones here too. I mean, they have a lot of dolls. The one thing that makes this store stand out though is the pin trading. If you are a pin trading person, this is probably one of the best spots to come to. Such a massive collection, and some of them are so rare and so valuable. I, like, it really does blow my mind. So many different pins from all different genres, movies, parks. It literally is endless. This is only one small section here. They have tons of separated pin sets here. Like these are Disney dogs and cats, Goofy, Figment, Pocahontas, Sports, Star Wars. And then they have walls back there full. Just like, like I said, tons and tons of pins. Pin collectibles. Look at this Nightmare Before Christmas one. Holy moly, that is so cool. I've never seen that before. That's $300 and I think that is amazing. Oh, they have another one right here too. Oh, really cool. A lot of pins in here. I love this Epcot Center one that says the Florida Project and it actually opens up. And inside it's got a little monorail. Wow, that is really cool. And then it's got Figment on one side and then I think you got Walt on the other. I don't want to drop it because it's very cool. Yeah, Walt's on the other one. This is really nifty. I don't think there's a price on it, but if it's behind the glass case, it's probably valuable. And then we got more Nightmare Before Christmas, a couple more Epcots, some Halloween ones over here, and even some Haunted Mansion ones. We'll take a peek seat right here. Oh yeah, Halloween party, boo to you. Oh, I like the Oogie Boogie one right here in the back. That is really awesome. This is $99. And then the Haunted Mansion set right here. Oh, this one comes in a bag. <laughs> I can't really get it over, but there's a deed to the Haunted Mansion as well. Over here we have gigantic Disney plushes. Look at the size of Mickey and Pooh Bear right here on this couch. This is huge. I think Mickey is actually bigger than me. I'm pretty positive. I mean, I don't know how I can stand him up. Or well, maybe I'll just show you guys what I look like next to him. And then we got a big Pluto on the ground next to him. Look at that is so amazing. Hold on, I gotta show you how big actual Mickey is. He is definitely bigger than me. Look, I don't even know. I don't think I can get any closer, really. Well, his head is basically the size of my whole entire torso, so that'll give you a good, a good proportional size rate. And then right next to Pooh Bear and Mickey, we've got the classic Disney VHSs, and these are the really good ones because they got the whole collection of the sing-along songs. I love these, look at this. I'm gonna try pulling one out here. This is Disneyland right here. Doesn't this bring back such nostalgia? It's a small world, and then we've got, oh, I love to laugh, volume nine. This is so cool. I wanna get all of these. I don't even know if I have a VHS player. And then we've got a Goofy movie, one of my all-time favorites right there. Oh, the Walt Disney story. That is so interesting. These things really get me excited. I really, really do like VHSs, and I love just feeling it. You know what I mean? Do you remember touching these when you were a kid? A King and King Arthur's Kurt. Return to Neverland. They've got A Bug's Life. Flubber. Aladdin. Return of Jafar. That was a great video. Here is all the information for the character corner. I'll put it in the description too, so if you want to actually buy anything, they do uh, ship things, I think. They also have Facebook, Instagram, eBay, all the goods.
now we're gonna have to move along but that was really something else in there I would love to get all the VHS sing-alongs I feel like that'd be a cool thing to aspire to own I'm sure a lot of people have them maybe sitting in their basement or attic but I would love to own every single copy next stop leads us here to the got thrift thrift store Jesus is coming soon and this is one of the tiniest thrift stores I think I've ever been to it's a very small building and everything's really kind of just like thrown in there but sometimes you can find some interesting things in here lots of Disney stuffed animals and plushes this looks like a uh, dancing mini right there and then some old SeaWorld items as well. I see they have like a Shamu back there. And take a look at all this stuff. Like I said, it's amazing the things that you would find in these stores. Little knickknacks and toys from your childhood. It's like everything that I love. Grave Digger? Wow, that is so awesome. I loved Grave Digger growing up. He was one of the coolest monster trucks out there. The him and Bigfoot. And then you can see they have a lot of other toys in here. Mickey ears. Where are these Mickey ears from? Is this a race one? Oh yeah, Run Disney, 2018. Oh, we have an opening day Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway shirt over here as well. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. Isn't it so fancy? Oh wait, no, that's not Mickey and Minnie's. That's a marathon weekend, 2018. This is a really cool toy. This is Mickey dropping into the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Look at that. I think it's broken now. Oh, wait. Does it? Oh. Oh, he goes like that. It drives. That is so funny. Oh, my Lord. I love this. <laughs> Down here, we have some old pictures of Minnie. And that's a little dog with the uh, mouse ears on. Some more autograph books. Lots of stuff. You got to dig down deep to find the goods. Some nice Mickey and Minnie plates down here. I don't know what those are. I want to take a look, closer look, but it's kind of stuck here. I'm not too sure what these are. They are Disney Parks. I did check out the back side of it, and it says Authentic Disney Parks Merchandise. So things from the parks are different. You have to look for that Parks logo. You notice they can sell things that are like Disney related, but it's not Disney Parks. And it comes with two bowls, a couple of plates. And I don't know if it's $9.99 each or for the whole set. Well, I guess it would be $9.99 each. That seems a little too high for me. There was a couple of things in there. Nothing that really caught my fancy. I was interested in the McDonald's Tower of Terror toy. But I think they wanted $5 for that little toy. So I feel like I could probably find it a little bit cheaper on eBay. But still very cool. I didn't even know it existed. Now we have made it to the flea market on 192. And this is open every single day of the week, I believe. But in building C, this is the garage sale building. It's only open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And most of the other buildings have like shoes, purses, perfumes. But building C has a lot of promise and maybe we'll find some good treasures, you know? You never know what you'll find around here. Most of all of the places that I've been to today, uh, I was by myself and there was nobody in the stores. So some places I wore my mask, some places I didn't. I think here, because there's a lot more people, I'm going to end up wearing my mask. And there's probably no AC. It looks like it's all outdoor buildings. So it's going to be a hot one, I say. <laughs> Starting off in building C and we've got some nice music to get us all <laughs> in the spirit of things. Oh yeah, this is like the garage sale boots. These are like the flea markets that I see up north. This is the stuff that you can find, real good treasures. But you gotta dig, you gotta bury. There's a lot of stuff in each little nook and cranny. Look at this Godzilla coffee mug holder or beer cozy. I don't even know what this is. But this is from the Godzilla movie with Matthew Broderick. This is really funny. What is this? I don't even know. I'm not sure what this is either, but it's really fascinating. It's like a Disney like uh, clothing shelf. Might have been from the Disney store itself, but it swivels. I wonder how much something like that is. Is there a price on the inside? Let's take a look see. Oh yeah, let's see. $60. That's not too bad. I don't even know what this is though, but it's really interesting. If you look down here, we've got some Cinderella's Royal Table Coffee beer pints, and I have never seen those before. But five dollars for this? Yeah, they like twenty-five at least. Yeah, that is really awesome. 
and now I found another interesting mug. This one, I'm not even too sure what it is. It is from Disney, and I think it's a cast member celebration mug. This is actually from Creating the Magic Beyond the Parks, Walt Disney World Liquidation 2020, oh, 20, oh, 20, 2002. I keep on wanting to say 2022, but 2002, and it's all the character warehouse yeah. locations. That is really awesome. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. Character Warehouse in Miami, Lake Bonavista, and even Orlando. Well, that was really cool. I ended up getting both of those mugs because I don't think they sell the Cinderella's Royal Table uh, beer mugs anymore. And plus, that cast connection one, well, it was the Character Warehouse. Uh, that, that was from 2002. It's almost 20 years ago. I don't even know when the Character Warehouse opened, but that is so nifty. And it's definitely worth it. Five bucks each? Thank you. <laughs> A peek inside here and we might have some good stuff. This Carlos Santana signed poster kind of got my attention. Oh, and then we can see a vintage Goofy over here. I don't even know what this vintage Goofy is, but I like it. Ooh, what is this? Honestly, I have no idea what this Goofy is. It's just a big wood cutout. And uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. And then also, I found a Mickey hand on a pole. <laughs> that is so random. Right next to Troy Bolton and the Wildcats. <laughs> a couple of other Mickey things I see popping out over here. But the one thing that caught my eye is this personalized pencil holder. And it says Phyllis Desk. And all I can think of is Phyllis from The Office. I don't know why. I mean, I'm sure it belonged to Phyllis somewhere in the world. And it was on her desk. But I can only think it was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. It is so so hot in here there is no ac and they just have fans blowing and i can feel myself cooking and there's another one of those godzilla cup holders or whatever they are i've never seen them before and now i've seen twice like i've seen them twice i've seen one in this stand right here and then one in the stand all the way up front there i've come across another interesting item this hard hat and this is from Disney Fest. This was basically a Disney Fest that was held in Singapore. And it was before the theme parks opened. So it was kind of like a carnival uh, that they actually put over there. A Disney carnival. How amazing is that? It looks really old. I'm not too sure how much this is. But I think it's really awesome. And I don't know the date of Disney Fest. I think I might have to Google it to find out. It was 1997. 1997 to 1998 is when they had that carnival. Because you know, sometimes you think of like Disney as like the, the picture perfect landscape, but I wonder what the carnival would have been like. I didn't even know Disney did those before. There is a box up here, and it looks like it is the Walt Disney World 1995 cast holiday celebration. I take a look inside of it though. I wonder what it is. Is it that picture frame there with Gus Gus on it? I do love me Gus Gus. Look at this cool Little Mermaid McDonald's Happy Meal set. I'd never seen a whole set like this. And this is made by Fisher Price. But another thing that caught my eye is this 101 Dalmatians alarm clock. Look at that. It's definitely seen a better days, but I think that's really nifty. Scratched up a lot. Poor thing, if this was in better shape, I definitely would be buying it. Gonna have to put it back down though. I could also uh, get somebody's trophies if I want it. That's exactly what it is, look at that. Your little Gus Gus, and this is from 1995. I really, really do like this. So I think I'm gonna end up getting that cast member holiday frame, and then I'm gonna get this Epcot 2000 poster, and then this Walt Disney World uh, marathon. This is the 10K marathon from 1995 for 35 bucks. Not a bad deal. <laughs> well, I guess that's gonna do it for me. I got a lot of interesting things today, actually. So I'm very happy. I only spent about $60. I got two mugs. I got that metal, that two, uh, Epcot 2000 poster. Uh, this frame was amazing. I don't know, I just love doing this. I love going around thrifting, shopping, and just enjoying all the different hidden treasures that you can find. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. If you want me to make more of these videos, let me know in the comments because this is something I kind of do
do once maybe a month maybe once every you know month I like to come out sometimes I film sometimes I don't uh, it's just something that I like doing and uh, it's good to share it with you so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye